Hey, I'm Kenny White for Sportsline.com, NBA fans. We're going to talk about travel in the NBA. When you have to travel, that's the biggest part of the scheduling that NBA teams have to go up against. And in this day and age, with load management, you have to make sure superstars are playing that next night. Over history of the last 25 years, the toughest travel there possibly is, is playing a game at home and traveling to the road the next night. That on average is minus a two and a half point differential to that team. The next worst travel away to away game, minus two. Anytime you're traveling back home, away to home, or home to home, there really isn't that big of a difference. These guys are used to playing at home. They're much more comfortable at home. So playing back-to-back -back nights and you're at home, no big deal, especially back-to-back -back home games. These guys are good to go. They're probably ready to play, and they're excited to play in those basketball games. Looking at a couple teams that have actually fared well this year, and also another point you have to look at, breaking numbers down. You can't just break them down for the entire league. You've got to break them down between good teams and bad teams. Travel affects the bad teams more than it does the good teams because the lack of depth on those rosters. A couple teams that do very well back-to-back, -back, Milwaukee, 5-1 and one ATS this year in a back-to-back. -back. The Lakers, 3-1 and one this year. Two very surprising teams that have done well, I'm kind of shocked about. Oklahoma City is 5-0 and oh this year on the second of a back-to-back. -back. They're also 7-0 and oh when their differential, uh, their opponent has the rest advantage. 7-0 and oh AT ATS, not understand why that happened. That should turn around this year. New Orleans, 5-1 and one ATS from traveling. Some bad teams, that travel affects them playing back-to-back, -back, and this makes a lot of sense. Detroit, 1-5 ATS. The Atlanta Hawks, 1-6. You want to bet against those teams when they have to play back-to-back -back over the next month of the season. For more great information, stay right here at Sportsline.com.